Hi friends, it's me, Miss Erin, here for this week's Family Storytime. I thought today we could read some books about building a fort. You know I couldn't read books about building a fort without building a fort myself. So if you want to build one at your house, ask your grown-up to help you and look around the house to find some things that you could use to build your own fort. Maybe you want some blankets or sheets. Maybe you bring over a chair or a piece of furniture. Maybe you find some pillows in your house or some couch cushions. See what you have. Maybe you find some clothespins to help you secure it. But once you have your fort built, or if you don't want to build a fort, that's okay. Let's get started for story time. Let's take our wiggle wiggle fingers way up in the sky. Wiggle wiggle fingers, wave them all bye bye. Wiggle wiggle fingers, fold them in a ball, throw them in your lap and do not let them fall. All right, our first book today is called Fort Building Time and it's by Megan Wagner Lloyd with pictures by Abigail Halpin. Oh, look, the kids are getting all the materials they want to build a fort. Fort building time. Winter is a snowball throwing, scarf wrapping, sled pulling, ice sliding time. A dog snuggling, cocoa drinking, snowman making, fort building time. Spring is a daffodil hunting, umbrella holding, rain wa washing, mud squishing time. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. A rainbow finding, spaceship drawing, book reading, fort building time. Can you find the rainbow? There it is, behind the umbrellas. What about the spaceship drawing? Do you see the picture she has here? What about book reading? I see, she's reading a book. Summer is a wave racing, sun sizzling, salt water swimming, picnic eating time. Look, they're playing in the water. A sand castle shaping, crab digging, shell stacking, fort building time. Look, they built a fort on the beach. Ooh, fall is a leaf chasing, wind rocking, poem writing, soup sipping time. Look at that fort. A sword fighting, trail climbing, woods exploring, fort building time. Every season has its own secret dreaming, cozy keeping, hush listening, fort building time. We did all the seasons, didn't we? We did winter, spring, summer, and fall. Look at their fort here. So let's make today a box taping, clothespin clipping, Oh no! Everything's slipping! Fort falling time! Have you ever had a fort that you built fall down? Yeah, me too. Look, do they look upset that their fort fell down? No, they can always try again. A project fixing Secret entrance crawling, spyglass peering, fort building time.
There they go, off to build another fort. Oh, look at the one they have in the end. Oh, that was fun. Let's sing a song today. I thought we could sing a song that lets us practice using our fingers. So we're gonna count with our fingers. We're gonna pretend that our fingers are our friends. So we're gonna start off with one friend. Can you make one finger stand up on each hand? One finger. Sometimes friends start with their pointer fingers. Sometimes friends like to start with their thumbs. So whichever one you and your family like to use. Let's take one friend on each hand and then let's hide them behind our backs. We're gonna sing a song to make them come out. You ready? Where is one friend? Where is one friend? Here is one. Here is one. Say hello to one friend. Say hello to one friend. Bring more friends. Bring more friends. So if we started with one friend, what comes next? Can we make two friends on each hand? Can you make two? All right, quick, hide them away. Where are two friends? Where are two friends? Here are two, here are two. Say hello to two friends. Say hello to two friends. Bring more friends, bring more friends. Okay, we did one and two. That's right, three is next. All right, make three friends. Quick, hide them away. Where are three friends? Where are three friends? Here are three, here are three. Say hello to three friends. Say hello to three friends. Bring more friends, bring more friends. We did one, we did two, we did three. That's right, we're gonna do four now. All right, take your four and hide them away. Where are four friends? Where are four friends? Here are four, here are four. Say hello to four friends. Say hello to four friends. Bring more friends, bring more friends. Let's see, we've done one, two, three, four. What's next? Let's do five. Can you take your five fingers? And you know what happens when we have five? We can give a high five. Nice, let's do it. Let's hide them away. Where are five friends? Where are five friends? Here are five. Here are five. Say hello to five friends. Say hello to five friends. High five, high. High five, high. Yeah, we did it. We did all five. Good job. All right, let's read one more book about a fort. This one is called The Little Red Fort, and it's by Brenda Meyer, and the pictures are by Sonia Sanchez. Ooh, look, somebody's building a fort. Now her fort doesn't look like it's made out of blankets. I think her fort looks like it's made out of wood. The Little Red Fort. Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. One day, she found some old boards. Who wants to help me build something? She asked her brothers. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. Jose almost fell off the fence. You don't know how to build anything, he, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. And she did. Who 
wants to help me draw the plans? Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll draw them myself. And she did. Look at all her drawings. Satisfied with her plans, Ruby asked, who wants to help me gather the supplies? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them myself. And she did. Look, a whole box full of tools and wood and supplies. When all the supplies were gathered, Ruby asked, who wants to help me cut the boards? Psh, not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll cut them myself. And she did. Oh, look, there she is working with her grown up. Looks like her mom is gonna help her cut. When all the boards were neatly cut, Ruby sang, who wants to help me hammer in the nails? Psh, not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Do they look busy? No. Fine, said Ruby. I'll hammer them in myself. And she did. Ooh, look, she's getting her granny to help now. Soon, Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play in my fort, she called. <gasps> me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Do you think she's gonna let them play in the fort? Not so fast, Ruby said. You didn't help me draw the plans, or gather the supplies, or cut the boards, or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build. And you laughed at me. I'm going to play in this fort by myself. And she did. We didn't want to play anyway, the boys said. But they did. So they huddled, whispered, and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox. Rodrigo planted flowers. Jose painted the fort fire engine red. Ruby was delighted. <gasps> That evening, the boys followed a delicious aroma to a fort warming party. Oh, it smells so good. Who wants to help me clean this plate? Ruby asked. We do, the boys said. And they did. Nom, 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 nom. Lots of cookies. some ideas to build a fort of your own. You can build a sofa fort or a kitchen chair fort 
or a bunk bed fort or a snow fort. All kinds of ideas. And you can have fun playing in it. That's the end. Thanks for sharing some books with me today, friends, and coming to play with me in my fort. I hope that you get the chance to build a fort of your own if you want. I'd love to hear about it. Until next week, though, see you later.